I'm Callan from Clearlight Designs. This is our Halo backlit bathroom mirror. Today we'll be talking about what sets our Halo lighted mirror apart from other cheaper imports, the high quality components we use and how it's installed and what the 12 volt transformer looks like and where to place it. Why I said cheaper imports and not other illuminated mirrors is because we are the only company in Australia designing and manufacturing illuminated mirrors. We have standard sizes available, but we also do custom sizing so you can choose to order an illuminated mirror to fit any space. This mirror here is a rectangle as you can see, but it can be ordered with rounded corners or in a square oval circle or any shape you desire. Let me tell you a little bit about this particular illuminated mirror. This mirror sits just 25 millimeters off the wall with LEDs that wrap around the frame of the mirror, giving it that halo glowing effect. The mirror we use is a high corrosion resistant mirror. This means that you will not get that black creep that appears around the edge of the mirror after time. The reason is that happens is with low quality cheaper mirrors, they mix copper in with the silver and it, give, and it is the copper that is tarnishing. The mirrors we use have no copper mixed into the silver. We also seal the edges of the mirror for added protection. The next most important thing are the LEDs. The LEDs we use are the most advanced we can source. Our LEDs have an impressive lifespan of 70,000 plus hours. This means the runtime will be an average of 20 years. Now if the LEDs were to fail between now and then, they can easily be replaced. We can replace them because they are housed in a silicon tube, which is glued to a hidden frame behind the mirror. The reason we do this is because the silicon housing protects the LEDs and gives our illuminated mirrors an IP67 rating. And the second reason is, if the lights fail, the LEDs can quickly and easily be pulled off and a new set can be glued into place. The color options we have are natural daylight, which is what you see here, or warm white. Natural daylight is the most popular choice. Now a question that is commonly asked is will it be bright enough? The answer is yes. Our LEDs have an output of 20 lumens per chip, which is 1200 lumens per meter. Another thing that sets our mirrors apart from other imports is when you view the LEDs from the side, you are not blinded by the LED light. That was one thing that annoyed us the most with cheaper imports. So we set out to fix this by adding a shade to the side. The sh shade is angled in such a way that the bright LED light cannot be seen from the side and it does not cast a shadow onto the wall. The LEDs are also dimmable. We have two dimming options. A wireless desktop dimmer, such as this one, just rotate to dial down and back up to brighten. We also have a wall mountable version of this in white. You can read more about our dimmers on our website. What powers the LEDs is a 12 volt transformer, which I will show you in a moment. Now into how the mirror is fixed to the wall. It is secured into place using our safe and fast hanging system. It is just another thing that puts our mirrors apart from other cheaper imports. With a mirror this size, it is a two person job to install it. Warwick is here and he will help me to take the mirror off so I can show you how it works. So first we just lift the mirror up to clear the split buttons and then we can place it down. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the mirror. You've got your split buttons, one at the top and one at the bottom, corresponding to split buttons on the wall, one at the bottom and one at the top. So the split buttons on the mirror lock into place over the split buttons on the wall. Now this is our test wall, which is just made out of timber. And usually you'd have a tiled wall in the bathroom that's not a problem, you just s drill through the tiles and add the appropriate wall plug with the screws here and here and there and there. Now this center screw is for leveling out the split buttons when you first screw it to the wall. So you drill and screw this one first, place a level on top of the split button, level it out and then go ahead and screw the structure to the wall. Now the LEDs are powered through this 12 volt power lead, which is in the center of the mirror. And that runs down 
underneath the vanity or into the ceiling. And I'll show you that in a minute with the 12 volt driver. Here are the LEDs. As you can see, they run around the outside of the mirror. And this is our light shade here to deflect the light for when you view it from the side. So we'll go ahead and pop this back on the wall and show you how it works. Okay, so we're gonna lift the mirror back onto the split buttons. This split button here is gonna lock into this split button and vice versa on the bottom. So first we lift it up, clear that split button, let it rest, now it's locked into place. And that's how easy it is. So this is the 12 volt driver that powers the LED lights in the mirror. And how that is powered is it plugs into a 240 volt socket just like this one. Now this can either plug straight into a power point or an outlet like this. And to turn the mirror on and off, this outlet is wired up to a light switch, which is usually located at the doorway as you enter the bathroom. So this is the driver. Now if it's a mirror this particular size, we have a driver that is 150 watts. So it's quite a large driver, but depending on the size of the mirror you have, will de depend on how big the driver is. So that converts the 240 volt into 12 volt. That runs into a dimmer receiver. If you have a dimmer, if you don't have a dimmer, the 12 volt driver will just run directly into the 12 volt lead. Now, if you have a 12 volt lead that runs around and up through into the wall cavity and up and comes out through the center of the mirror. And that's how the mirror is powered with the 12 volt driver. Now, you can locate that either in underneath the vanity or in the ceiling. One thing that wasn't on that mirror was a demister pad. Now these are an optional extra that you can get. A demister pad is a metal mesh pad that is coated in plastic and adhered to the back of the mirror. The metal mesh pad heats up and transfers the heat through the back of the mirror to the front. So you get a fog free viewing when you're in the bathroom using the shower or the tub. Now the demister pad is powered on 12 volts the same 12 volts that power the lights. You will just have a separate driver that powers the demister pad and one that powers the lights. You also have to wire that up to a separate light switch. So when you enter the bathroom, you can turn on the demister pad without turning on the lights or just turn the lights on and leave the demister pad off. So that's our video on the Halo Illuminated Mirror. If you have any questions on how to do the install or where to locate the driver, you can just send us an email or give us a call. Um, we do online quotes for different sizes and shapes. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video.